Um, I'm going to do um, some defensive rotation drills, and they're just uh, very just variations on the shell drill, which I'm sure everyone's uh, uh, seen many, many times. Um, if you've seen us play, that may lose instant credibility as the opposition has been tearing us apart, especially with their perimeter shooting and our lack of rotating. But I will uh, say that I didn't make any of these drills up, so someone else has done them and they must have worked for them at some stage. Um, so it could just be the way I'm doing it. So if you, if you like it, please take it, because I've taken them from someone else. and. Um, yeah, many, uh, probably they've all been, you've seen most of them before. Uh, the first one, guys, could we get four lines, please? So we need one right here facing that court, one at the far end, so foul line, and then one at the halfway lines on the sideline facing the middle, facing the middle. And we only need one basketball, which uh, I want. So this one here, all the rest just put behind you. First person each line, just take maybe two steps in away from your person. Turn around and face them. You'll be defending them. So take two steps in, two steps in. All right, and then maybe change your angle so you can see me. So take that side on sort of position. So this is just a, a, a very simple rotating drill, and we'll do it two different ways. This was uh, Tab, I saw Tab do this, um, and it's, it's pretty common, so I'm sure you would have seen something like it before. This is really good just to teach rotating and get them with a bit of confidence that they have to leave their person and someone's going to get their back. Someone's going to rotate to the free person. Um, and it's, it's good with um, half court defense, which, which we'll flow onto, but it also works really well with what the, the one, two, two pressing sort of stuff. So it's the same concept if you know, you've got to rotate and pick up the free person. All that's going to happen is you're, I'm going to throw the ball and I'm going to throw it here for the start off. All right, you have to close out on the ball and channel her one way. So you've got to angle her one way. It doesn't really matter. So you just angle her that way. She's angled to you. You've got to run and trap this. All right, you're not going to dribble it. You're just going to stay here. So you girls give her a little bit of room. All right, you're allowed to pivot on that run and trap. Now everyone's got a, the two spears. So you could just angle her one way. You're just going to walk and trap the two leftovers have to start to zone up. So you're going to start to try and get in here, read that body language. You've got one pass. As soon as you touch the ball, you can pass it. So while he's on the way, you can pass it. So if, you know you can get it, try and sneak it through. You're reading those eyes, trying to anticipate, all right, and trying to get, get that steal if you can. If you can't get that steal, your job is to close out on the ball. All right, what we want is it's going to be one pass and then we're going to time you very roughly by me counting one Mississippi that we want everybody then to match up and we go back to four on four. All right, so what we want, uh, and the rule we'll have is if you run and trap, we'll have the ball here, whichever head the ball goes over, in theory, all right, the opposite person's going. So it's there and you've got to go find the free person. All right, now it might be quicker for you to go there, in which case you have to tell her and she can just make that short rotation and so on and so on and so on. You can pass anyway, so if they loosen that trap, you can split it down the middle yeah. or whatever you feel like. All right, so one pass and then back to four on four as quick as we can. All right, three, two, one, play. <laughs> Phenomenal, all right, ball back to me. All right, we're gonna do the same thing this time. Uh, we wanna make sure we wanna rotate a little bit quicker. So. I always like to take away the obvious one if we can. So the obvious pass is that one because they left there. All right, so we really want to see if we can maybe overcommit and leave you to cover too because you look so fast and phenomenal. All right, ready? Play. Good, good. And let's rotate through. So just go uh, offense to defense, defense out, and we'll rotate around. All right, this time we'll throw the ball to you. We can balance up the lines if you don't feel like standing in the back of the line for the next couple of minutes. Go! Forcing that way. Go, 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 go. Get it, get it. And match up, match up. Who you got? All right. Ball back to me. We'll stay same defense. When we finish the drill, we want to try and get into a one-thirds, two-thirds position. So that's a pretty, pretty common Australian phrase, I, I believe. So if the ball's there, I'm one-thirds from there with two-thirds from there. So you're up the line of the ball. All right. So when we get back to our four-on-four. Four, all right. Well, we go angle it one way, good, run a trap, rotate there, find a new person. Good. Let's go. Rotate through. Right. Three, two, one, play. Good, rotate. Good job. All right. 
Last time, and then we'll switch up the drill a little bit. Make sure you can see the ball, see the ball. And rotate. Go, go, quick, run. All right, so pass it just needs to read that a little bit better because he didn't rotate whatsoever. All right, we'll go same group. Go again. All right, so make sure you watch there. Run and trap nice and quick. Go, go, hands up. It's on your team. All right, rotate through. All right, this time what we're going to do is you've got... Um, as many offense, you've got as many passes as you like until the defense gets it to four on four. So that'll be pretty obvious, so they'll come trap you, all right? They'll make a pass out, you can shift the ball on if they're still scrambling, but once it's four on four and all those passes are denied, then that's the game, all right? Offense, you want to try and make, if you can make four passes, you win. So if you can make four passes, defense all gets a press up. Defense, if you can match back up to four on four, all right, before those four passes are made, then defense wins. I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you can play, yeah, you can pass anywhere you want. So four passes. All right, three, two, I'm gonna pass here to one plate, angle it one way, go trap. So one pass, get to four and four, two passes. Three passes, four, and game's up. So offense wins, defense, two press ups, then rotate through. Four, please. So rotate, same rotation we did before. Hop out of the way. O, D, D out. Got it. All right. So a big thing is we've got to make sure we're communicating. So if we're, let's just walk through. Ball's here. It's trapping. All right, you have to say where you're going. All right, and you have to tell whoever's running out. And it, so you've taken that one. Now you have to tell whoever's running out where to go. All right, so you've got to, I've got, and you know their names hopefully. There, there. And so you must be taking him, her. All right. We ready? So same thing. Four passes is the target. Play. One. Two. And match back up. Well done. Stop. That's it. Very good. Defense wins. Rotate through. So once we get to that four and four, so you can get up the line of the ball and prevent the pass. All right. So we get to four on four, and now we're denying. Go. One pass. Two, deny now, and we got him. Good job. Defense wins. Rotate through. Go. One. Rotate, rotate. Start over. Start from there. Just stay matched up with who you're close to. Doesn't really make any difference. Here we go. Good. Fourth one way. Good. Go trap. One pass. Two. Three. Talk to each other. Four, and we've got, you're covering a phenomenal amount of distance. And some of that would be helped if we could just tell each other, there's the free person. All right, last time, rotate through. Go. All right, start over, start over. We didn't really, we'll start again. We didn't quite get a trap, and then we just got the same person running back and forth. So we want all four rotating. Are we ready? Okay, so go trap, we're trap. One, good, two, three, and we got there. Fantastic. All right, last time, uh, well, rotate through. Last variation on the same drill. All right, once it gets to four on four, so you know it's locked down, angle that person again, run and trap them again. So it just repeats. All right, we'll just go two reps if you can get through it perfectly. Here we go, go. One, rotate through. Two, good job. Four on four now. Oh, we got them. Rotate through. This happens in New Zealand too. Try and remember who's on your team. Typically we say don't pass to people on green or yellow. Go. And now go angle, go trap again, go trap again. Good. Rotate. And angle, go trap again, rotate, rotate. Good job, match up, match up. Now go trap again. And freeze there. All right, just jog down to the baseline, please, everybody down this end. All right, next drill we're going to do is uh, it's just basically, it's a three-on-three -three shell drill, so we can get, uh, we'll go uh, wing, point wing, and we need an offense and defense. Uh, where we go? And we get, can we get half of the blokes just flip their shirts inside out, so that way we've got a, a white-ish team. And ladies, 
Well, you can go white too. Because you're on white. That'll make sense. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're white already, so it's, that'll work. All right, so ball's here, so take the appropriate position. Yeah. All right, this game, and we're just going to play it live straight away. I'll explain how it works. But you want to be on defense. So subs always come on, coming on O. All right, we've got a lot of white shirts versus very few blue shirts, and you're outnumbered, and you'll be fine with that. You just have to, um, you just have to win. All right, the way it's going to work, so you want to be on D to get a stop, and it's first time stops only. So if on a shot, all right, if you get an offensive rebound, you can play the game out, but it makes no difference. It's not counted as a stop. All right, so any, any offensive rebounds don't count as stops, only first shot stops. All right, you're going to get up right on his high hip, so ball starts on his wing, so you're giving him a driving lane. You're going to start right here. On that drive, you've got to go real assertively and try and get him by the key line. All right, so you're going to go here. You two are going to slide over just like you did with the, uh, the other coach. So you'll just walk through it, dribble in. There's the helper. You've got to split two now. All right, on that. If you can get to the ring, you can shoot that. If you can shoot a pull-up, that's fine. You can do that. Which here, wherever the ball goes, you're going to. All right, so you just got to hedge, split them both. All right, and where whoever the head's over, so over your head, you're flying out there and trying to find the free guy. Same thing as we did before, you go to him, you say, go get that bloke. So we're we giving this drive Yep, so you give him the driving lane, all right? You don't need, it doesn't need, don't give him a layup, just give him enough so he gets a head start. And remember, we're playing live, so any offensive boards, you just keep on playing out. Three stops in a row and you win. Good, rotate out. Good, keep playing, keep playing. Rotate out, lock out. That's one stop, new dark team in on, that dark team off. Whites, you're on one. Stay there though. So you want to be on defense to win this game. If you're not on defense, this time the ball starts to the opposite side. There you go. Three, two, one, play. Drop, rotate out, rotate out. Keep playing. And rotate. They got an offensive rebound, so you got to rotate out anyway. So blues now, new white team in on O. Blues are on D. So remember, it's three stops in a row. All right. So ball's going to start on the wing. So you make sure you take the appropriate position. So ball's going to start there. Yep. So you got to be the helper. And if you're ready. Good. Two stops. I oh, know, so that's the first one. Rotate through. New white team in. I oh, know. Offense. All right, on this, we want this person to go hard. You've got to be assertive, make the play on this. And we're just going to walk through what happened before. So just walk in, drive. This person fills behind. You're there. On the fill behind, we want one of these two to go get it. All right, so it's probably going to be the person that starts on the ball because you're going to be far closer. So you've got to go out there. You've got to make sure you tell them because obviously it's a pretty tough thing to be aware of while you're defending the ball. All right, so on that fill behind, he just goes there, which means you can stay home on that. All right, here we go. Make that, try and make the play off that first drive. So be nice and assertive. Good. Rotate back out. Rotate through. O gets to go on D. So remember, if you're on D, you've got a chance to win. Offense can't win the game by scoring. Defense has to win the game by getting a stop. All right. Uh, you're going to start right there. All right. Could we get, actually, now we'll go four on four. So could we get a fourth dark person in the corner and a fourth light person matching up? All right. And just take the appropriate position. Defense. Ball's going to start there. You're going to be right on this high hip. Yep. All right, all that's going to happen is these three are going to alternate who they're guarding. All right, so we're going to have, you're going to call change. All right, the change is going to be you're going to go from guarding the top to guarding the bottom. So low split, low split to high split, high split to top. All right, you're going to call change. Make sure everyone's in stance. Then you call change again, change again, change again. All right, depending on 
whether I'm taking any notice of what's happening, I might leave you there for 10 seconds, right? Or I might just whisper it. At some stage, I'll be standing here and I'll just say, go. You just put the ball to the floor as hard as you can, try and get to the rack, right? Now, all we're practicing is obviously, if you're the low split, you're the helper. If you're the high split, up, split, you're gonna split two. So you're gonna take two, then you're gonna take two here. All right, if he fills behind, you've gotta make sure you communicate that so that way he can go get yours. All right, you've got the first rotation. You've got the, well, it's gonna depend where the ball goes. If the ball goes high, you've got the first rotation. Low, you've got the first rotation. If the ball goes to the middle, just whoever's closest. It makes no real difference as long as you communicate assertively. Alrighty, so you got the changes. Just jump to the ball a little bit, otherwise you'll face catch you. Yeah. Yep. Good, good, good. I'll say go. So they say change. Keep going, keep going. Right, keep calling it till we. Go. Good. All right. Reset. We'll go same group just till we get the pattern of the drill and the others can pick it up. No, because you look like you're a communicator. Okay. Yep, so you keep calling it. All right, when we change, we want to try and keep vision of the ball. So maybe it's like this. The simulation could be you're defending a basket cut. So if you lose sight of the ball as you're going from high to low and you're this person, then it happened about 18 times on uh, whenever the first game was, Wednesday night, Thursday night, then that person's ripping through and is going to bang it on you. All right, so you're going to make sure you see the ball. Chase. See the ball. Good, rotate, rotate, rotate. Good. Now, who's going to get this fill behind? Yeah, so one of the trappers is going to get the fill behind. So who would go and get that one? The high split would. All right, let's go. Same group. Go. Good, yours, yours, yours. Good, close it out, match up, close it out. Block out. Good job. All right, let's get, uh, we'll go offense to defense. Defense out, new team in on O. I'm not sure how our colors is going to work out. Kill's jumping, it's all right. So offense in the corner, yep. Who's calling changes? You got it. Very good, go. See the ball, see the ball. So open stance. Go. All right, and so the first part the, the broke down a bit near the end, but the first part was really good because you were able to read those eyes. You worked out, well, he's not actually going at the hoop. He's just trying to draw someone and kick it on. So you can kind of hedge at him and then recover back. We didn't need to rotate, which makes everything a whole bunch simpler. All right, well, where we go? Make sure you see the ball on that drop. Go. Keep playing now, do whatever you feel like, block out. All right, rotate through. It's good, new team on O, O to D. Remember, you want to be on D to win. Just got to get three stops in a row to win, so we still want to go dark lights. No, you're good at it though. All right, what's going to happen now? Basically, this, the same drill, except now you're going to basket cut through if you think you can pass on the ball, you can. So you've got to jump to the ball, bump that cutter, snap your head and hands, and then just fill out to the weak side. As he leaves the weak side, please don't follow him. So stay open stance, because, and we're just going to motion around, repeat, repeat, repeat. At some stage, I'll call go. All I'll be looking for on the go, and it's the same thing, all you'll be looking for once we get more game-like, is as soon as you see this guy turn his head, that's when you go, because you can't help. All right, so I'll be just be looking for the one out of one defender out of you three that turns their head in the low split. All right, we ready? Good. Now rotate through. So stay, you guard your per same person all the time. Now, good. Just hard basket cut through, then fill out. Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. stop. I didn't explain it very well. This could be why we're losing so badly. Start over. So you're just going to guard that person. You're just going to guard that person. You're just going to guard him. All right. There was about four basket cuts you could have given the ball. You throw them the ball, otherwise they don't learn. All right, so jump to the ball, make him cut behind you. All right, if he tries to face cut you, 
You bump him. If he's going to cut all the way out here, then you don't need to keep bumping him. Just let him go. That's fine. Offense, just quick cut through. Get out. Quick cut through. Get out. If you can, or when I say go, you just go. Good. You help from the low. We help from the high split. So, I mean, there's times when that's going to happen. It's not the complete end of the world. Here we go. Same group. Basket cut, bumper cutter. Go. Yeah, pull, pull, pull. Yeah, pull, pull. Rotate. Hey, who stayed here? Good. Out of our trap as we had both leave him and we just didn't get our head up. One of the oh, one thing that's really hard to defend is if if I drive and you stop me and we kick that ball on, we get the ball back to the same person. The chance of you being able to stop the same person, all right, and twice in a possession is, is very, very slim. All right, so make sure offense you see the initial driver and defense one of the trappers has to stay. So if it goes over your head, you're staying, but that's got to be communicated. We can't assume. Here we go. Same groups. Go. Good, rotate. Good. Let's go. Rotate through so we'll get a new team in. What are we going? O to D, D out. Phenomenal. All right, so you got the ball. You're right on this high hip. Just start cutting whenever you feel. Bump that cutter. Go. Rotate. Keep going. Keep going. Match up now. See the ball. Block out. Good. All right, rotate through. We're just going to do, so go O to D, D out. New team in on O. So one last variation of exactly the same thing before we move on. All right. Uh, so now on this one, all you're going to do is you can choose when you drive. All right, the cue you're looking for, all right, is you're, as soon as you see this person turn their head. So you're looking for low split. To go like this, even if it's just for a split second, and that's when you go as hard as you can at the rack. All right, so so obviously defense, if low split sees them every single time, then potentially he won't drive whatsoever. All right, so hard, yep, sorry, and we're still hard cutting through. All right, and then we're, so we're just waiting to see which of these three will let the defensive group down. Yep, so start with that cut, good, good. Good, rotate, rotate. All right, and uh, just freeze there. So it was the, the same issue, and it, it, it depending on maybe maybe it's done differently here. So that could be it. As if uh, we go, if the person fills behind, one of the trappers goes. Whereas I think it was you came over and took the fill behind, which meant there wasn't a third person or a second or third person to rotate to the kick out. All right, same thing, same drill, same at post, same thing. Let's go. Good, good. Oh! Good. So we've got to make sure you see the ball. If you can't see the ball, so that's all he's waiting for, that head turn. All right, uh, we'll move on from that. So we'll go, I think we've got not too much longer left. As you can see, there's some very fine New Zealanders looking to do something. All right, we'll head, uh, if we can get three lines now, and we need uh, two passes. So we'll go whites on offense. So let's get white in the corner, corner and top. Blue match up, please. And let's get two blue passes to come out and blue passer on the wing and on the wing. All right, so there's gonna be, it's just blues uh, on five out, whites, three defenders. Or the other way around, who did I say was on offense? You got the ball. Blues on O, you two switch up, just swap places. Blues on O, five out for blue. Three white defenders, and we need one more white shirt just defending right there. Now, ball's starting there, so take the appropriate position. Uh, and you're not gonna guard the ball, so you guard him. Yep, so you're just going to be matched up always with corner, point, and corner. Never guard the wings, which confuses people from time to time. All right, this is um, Angelo's drill, who's sitting down the other end pretending to ignore me. All right, all that's going to happen, you're going to bounce the ball. All right, just slow, just two hands, bounce, catch. All right, on the bounce, one, two, three, like the other drill, are going to swap who they defend. Never guard these two. All right, so we're going to go, you're going to drop to the low split. 
You're going to come up, guard the point. You're going to go out, guard there. All right, bounce once more. Rotate through, phenomenal. All right, skip pass. Only pass to your partner who's not guarded. So you get the opposite wing, skip. Jump to the ball, take the appropriate position. Slow bounce. Same, ro same direction we rotated. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure you were coming to here. Yep, bounce again. Skip pass. Bounce that ball. Now at some stage they'll get tired of doing that and they'll shoot the ball. What we're working on now is a block out and this one here is the most important. Only the one, two, three guarded people are allowed to rebound. One, two can't. All right, so you're gonna come charging in like your Felix Van Hoff and see if you can get that tip dunk or at least get the rebound. This person, first thing that's important is you must see them. If you don't see them, it's exceptionally difficult to block them out. They actually have to run into you. So you gotta see them. You, as that shot goes up, you have to go this way. All right, it's no good staying here and blocking them out because they'll just tip it over you anyway. So go that way as they're running and you have to be very physical. So try and hit them with that forearm. Now it might be that the forearm's enough to discourage them. Some people don't like getting hit. So they'll just stop and kind of float out there. So you might not need to be in, you know, an, a, a perfect textbook block out. All right, if they keep on coming in, then you're going to have to get down low, get your button to them, block that person out, block that person out. All right, there we go. Go live now, slow bounce, rotate through, skip past when you feel like it. Get past slow bounce. Next time you get it back, just bounce and shoot it. Rotate around. Remember, don't guard the ball. Don't guard the ball. Good. Skip past back. Good. Rotate on the bounce. On the bounce. Block out. Good. Offing's got to play it out. Play it out. Come on, play it out. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Good block out at the end there. All right, rotate through. Passes stay. All right, let's go. Uh, what do we got? Offense to defense, defense out. Make sure we're color coordinated so we're not going to confuse each other too much. And we've got maybe one rep left in us. All right, slow bounce, rotate through. Make sure you're matched up. So don't guard the ball, don't guard the ball. See that guy in the low split? If you don't see him, you're not going to be able to block him out. See that guy in the low split? Make sure you know who you're blocking out. Go rebound. Oh, 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 we got a bit lost. All right, uh, and we'll stop there just because time's pressing on. You get the general idea of how it's meant to be done, hopefully. Uh, can we give the young, fine young men and women of ACT a big hand for coming out on Saturday morning?